Nigeria has been thrown into sudden mourning over news that one of the country's most influential and richest pastors, Prophet T.B. Joshua, passed away on Saturday, June 5 of 2021. His shocking death is coming just two months after he came down with a stroke and was flown to Turkey in an air ambulance for treatment. The late Prophet is the founder and leader of one of Africa's biggest churches in Africa, the Synagogue Church of All Nations (SCOAN), Based in Lagos and known for running Emmanuel TV, one of the most watched Christian channels worldwide. Confirming his untimely death in a Facebook post, the TB Joshua Ministries revealed that his death is of divine will. He left a legacy of service and sacrifice to God's kingdom that will continue to live on for generations. While the cause of his death is still unknown, he was reportedly rushed to a nearby hospital after he was found in an unusual position in his apartment. This was just a few hours after a brief preaching on Saturday. Sadly, he gave up the ghost around 3 a.m. and his last words were, watch and pray. T.B. Joshua is survived by a wife, Evelyn Joshua, with three grown-up children and grandchildren. Although a very controversial pastor, T.B. Joshua was one of the most loved pastors in the country due to his humanitarian works. For this reason, many have taken to mourning him on social media while recounting all the good that he did in his short lifetime. Hey, TV Joshua! We are widows, We are widows, so He's got to help us again! The cleric, who was only 57 years at the time of his passing, was due to celebrate his 58th birthday in a week. Hello guys, it's t here for African Glitz. Temitokwe Francis Balogun Joshua, better known as Prophet T.B. Joshua, was born on June 12, 1963 in Arigidi Akoko, Ondo State. According to reports, his birth was prophesied 100 years before he was born, and unusual circumstances also surrounded his eventual birth. He reportedly spent a total of 15 months in his mother's womb and narrowly escaped death again seven days after he was born. Although he completed his primary school education at St. Stephen's Anglican Primary School at Coco, he wasn't so lucky with his secondary school education. He dropped out at Form 1 and began doing menial jobs to survive, including carrying chicken waste. He later tried to join the Nigerian military, but his plans were thwarted after the train which was supposed to transport him to the training academy broke down and left him stranded and rode. Nonetheless, he has always shown great zeal for doing God's work, organizing Bible studies for local children, earning him the nickname Small Pastor at a very young age. In 1987, T.B. Joshua founded the Synagogue Church of All Nations at the age of 24 after receiving a heavenly vision telling him that he has been given a divine anointing and a covenant with God to start a ministry. Years later, he built a mega church with its headquarters in the Ikotun Egbe area of Lagos State. He later founded Emmanuel TV, the church television broadcast service, instantly making him the most popular televangelist in Nigeria. Today, his church is popular across Africa and Latin America. This is despite having only one branch in Ghana. The synagogue church has been described as Nigeria's biggest tourist attraction and most visited religious tourist destination in West Africa. According to the Nigerian Immigration Services, in 2016, 6 out of 10 foreign travelers in Nigeria are visiting his church. The late T.B. Joshua was also described as the opera of evangelism and YouTube's most popular pastor. Before its suspension, the church boasted of 1.8 million subscribers on YouTube and had over 4 million followers on Facebook. In 2011, Forbes named him the third richest pastor in Nigeria with a net worth ranging between $10 million and $15 million. In 2015, he reportedly bought a Gulfstream private jet at a whooping 60 million naira. It's no secret that TB Joshua's church became popular for performing divine miracles, yet, his ministry has been ridden with controversies over how it conducts the miracles and claims of the kind of illness its spiritual powers can heal people of. He is known for hitting people, sometimes slapping them hard to deliver them from demons. Other times, he gives people what he calls anointed water or oil to cure them of various illnesses, including HIV AIDS, cancer, open wounds and even blindness. He also claimed to be able to raise the dead and deliver people from the spirit of homosexuality. Where is the second? Okay. You people are friends. Yes, man of God. It's your wife. Prostitution, armed robbery, 
internet fraud and even human trafficking. Many celebrities and top politicians of many countries have visited his church and attested to his spiritual powers. This includes Nigeria's former Minister of Petroleum, Daisani Alison Madweke, who visited him for spiritual healing from breast cancer. Nollywood actor Jim Ike, known for acting in bad boy roles, also visited him in 2013 for deliverance from demon possession, as well as Ghanaian singer Denise Williams. T.B. Joshua also came under every criticism many times for his spiritual power claims. In April of 2021, YouTube suspended his ministry channel for claiming to have a cure for homosexuality. Many have also reportedly died over his preaching. In 2011, hospitals in London reported much death from HIV AIDS after some patients stopped taking their drugs at the advice of their pastor, T.B. Joshua. Apart from miracles, T.B. Joshua is known for his prophecies which sometimes come to pass and other times does not. For example, he claimed to have predicted the death of legendary pop singer Michael Jackson as well as the Malaysian aircraft MH370 that disappeared in 2014. One of his many prophecies that never came to pass was that of the US 2016 presidential election where he predicted that Hillary Clinton would win the polls but she eventually lost to Donald Trump among others. It's also no news that T.B. Joshua is not very much liked by other pastors in Nigeria. Pastor Chris Okotie once described him as the son of the devil. Many other pastors, including Pastor E.E. Adeboye, David Oyedepo, Ayo Urisha Jafo, Paul Adefarasin, Matthew Ashimoluwo, have denounced him severally as a fraudulent Christian pastor. Despite the controversy surrounding his ministry, the late prophet T.B. Joshua is known for giving and his philanthropic works across the globe precede aim. According to Forbes, in 2011, T.B. Joshua spent over $20 million on education, health care and rehabilitation programs for repentant Niger Delta militants, former sex workers and armed robbers. In addition, he once donated 26 million naira towards electricity infrastructure in Ondo State and donated huge sums to the Nigerian and Ghanaian police force. Many of his members have also benefited from scholarships ranging from primary, secondary and tertiary education. He also donates to victims of natural disasters, notably the 2010 Haiti earthquakes and has been a major donor for sports, deportees and family reconciliation programs. Because of all his selfless humanitarian works, T.B. Joshua was recognized by the United Nations and the Nigerian government numerous times. Sadly, at the age of 57, he passed away to the great beyond on June 5 of 2021. This is two months after he came down with a stroke and was flown in an air ambulance to receive treatment at a hospital in Turkey. According to reports, he felt uncomfortable while conducting service on Saturday evening and retired to his apartment to rest. When he did not return after several hours, top church officials searched for him and found him in an unusual position, prompting them to rush him to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead. News began circulating about his shocking passing for hours before a statement was finally released by the TB Joshua Ministry. The statement claimed that the late 57-year-old man of God predicted his death and preached about it during his last admonition at the Emmanuel TV Partners meeting, focusing on where he said, Time for everything, time to come here for prayer and time to return home after the service. The statement further noted that he left a legacy of service and sacrifice to God's kingdom that will leave for generations yet unborn while urging the general public to give the Emmanuel family privacy to mourn. While many Nigerians have reportedly camped at his church headquarters in Lagos to weep over his death, other Nigerians have taken to social media to wish Prophet T.B. Joshua an eternal rest in peace and eulogized him for his humanitarian work he did during his short lifetime. In contrast, some other Nigerians who only remember the man of God for his controversial lifestyle have taken to criticizing him even at death. Recounting how TB Joshua helped him in the past, Nigerian footballer Abu Aziz wrote, I couldn't join my teammate in Dubai because my passport was seized and about to be destroyed at the Italian embassy. TB Joshua sent his PA to make one call. I got my passport the next day. Baba bought another ticket for me and gave me money, used his escort to take me to the airport. 
Former Minister of Aviation Femi Fani Kayode wrote on Instagram, It was a wonderful, kind, generous, wise and loving man who was undoubtedly one of God's end-time generals and who did so much for those in need and the body of Christ. Many family and I shall miss him dearly as he soars to the stars and takes his place amongst the angels and saints in heaven. An Instagram user wrote, TB Joshua might be late, but his legacy lives on. May his soul find peace with the Lord. Another user wrote, The man was a philanthropist, that humanity in itself, beyond religion. Another user wrote, This is so heartbreaking, it really touched so many lives. Criticizing TB Joshua, popular journalist Sandra Ezekwesili wrote on Instagram, TB Joshua was reportedly ill and went to the hospital. Did he teach his numerous followers to try hospitals and not abandon their medication for his holy water and anointing oil? His ministry did a lot of damage. Any conversation that doesn't include that is dishonest. Do you think TB Joshua will be greatly missed by many worldwide for his humanitarian works? Do you think he lived a selfless life and his legacy will continue to live on even after his death? Lastly, do you agree he saw his own death coming? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Finally, click on the bell sign to be notified every time you upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.